the more meow, meow, meow. That's what you sound like. Meow. Man, don't make fun of me. Howdy everyone, good morning. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Uploading this video with Nomad Internet. Link below if you need some unlimited internet. I'm gonna get back at this project. We've been getting some high winds here in Illinois. Still gonna be 76 degrees here in November. And the leaves, I mean, <laughs> I'm not even sure really why I started cleaning up leaves so early. You might as well wait till all the leaves have actually fallen, Eric. So I'm not messing with it again. You know, I was getting tired of picking them up by by hand and everything, so I got this uh, this mulcher by by Works, and these are really popular here in this, this area. Remember, I have already cleared all of the leaves over here. Look at all the leaves that have fallen, and so I'm gonna eventually. There's you can see there's there's still some leaves on that tree that need to fall, and my neighbor's tree leaves and everything. So once everything is there, I'll I'll blow it all back up to the side of the house and 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 mulch it back up. I think I was a little overzealous to think I could just continue to keep all my yards, all four sides of the yard, clear all the time. There, there's there's no point, Eric. Just just let it happen. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like it's too warm here with the falling leaves, but it is still humid and warm here. I can't believe it. So I'm gonna be working in, in the heat and probably breaking another sweat today, I guess. I think I'm gonna run out of two by fours to finish the project in here the way I had it designed. So I've made a quick little change here and that is that I'm going to finish off the bed area and add the custom underneath shelving later. I can do that because I'm gonna hinge the entire bed with the old struts and everything. My mattress has arrived and this you have to set up and then wait 72 hours for it to expand before you can sleep on it, which means you have to wait three days. So I'm gonna finish up the bed as normal. I added one more brace this morning. See, it's as if I could hear all of my framing viewers telling me, Eric, you need more support on that long stretch. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I really did. Even though the half inch top's gonna be here, I added one here, added one over there for this because this is where I'm gonna slide off the bed anyway and put a lot of weight right there. Obviously I'm not doing 16 inch center studs because this is a very custom thing and it's not inside a house. And even behind these walls, it's like one by ones everywhere and I'm doing two by fours to make this really sturdy and everything. So I'm happy with the support. The next thing is we're gonna be putting some hinges along the back wall and then connecting those to the piece that will go like this with the whole mattress. Everything will tip up for the storage underneath. And like I said, for right now, I'm not gonna build the custom shelving because I don't have enough wood. I want to get the bed set up and make this livable again. And then later on, I will bring the bed top up and I'll finish this off later before I leave end of the year. Also a little update on the internet here at the house because I left you stranded several days ago about uh, the, the, the router working and then not working and then them having to send the tech out. The tech came out this morning. He was, he was here bright and early at 8 a.m. on the dot, but he still had to do the entire diagnosis. He had, to, he had to climb up the pole again and test there and then he had to do tests in the line of the house and at my router and run his iPad through everything and two and a half hours later he came back and said, ah, you need a new router. But that is a new router. <laughs> it's brand new. It, it worked for, okay, I need another one. So get this, he didn't have a router. And maybe that's the weird thing about Mediacom that I'm, I'm so used to other companies, you know, they have everything they need to do the work at your house. Well, this guy doesn't even drive a Mediacom truck. It's just a pickup truck. He doesn't have a Mediacom name tag. Or, he's, just a, he's just a third party technician. And when I first signed up for this service through Mediacom, they told me about my professional installation date. And then they said, we're gonna be mailing you out your kit. And I remember telling them, I'm like, well, what do you mean mailing me out the kit? I thought they're gonna do the install. And they said, no, we're mailing you out the hardware and everything. You give that to your technician when they get there. Okay, well, that seems weird, but now it comes back into play because the guy in the truck that came today doesn't even have an extra router in his truck. He had to contact Mediacom and set this up and then Mediacom called me and said, hey, we're overnighting that to you. You are guaranteed to have it tomorrow by 9 p.m. <laughs> and I laughed over the phone. I said, lady, don't even start with your guarantees. 
I live out in the country. Nothing I pay for to have overnight shipped arrives the next day. I guarantee you I will not have your overnight shipment until Wednesday or Thursday. She said, well, that may be the case, but either way, when you get it, you just plug it right in and everything's gonna magically work. <laughs> now you're just messing with me, lady. You don't know who you're talking to. This is a nomadic fanatic. Nothing is going to work that you say is gonna work, but we'll go ahead and play your game. So here I am another five, six days after it went out and I still don't have internet. Hopefully there'll be an update here soon. Uh, and I'm still on the fence about the company Mediacom. You know, at first when I saw the speeds and everything, I was really, really excited. But if the thing only lasts for one day and then you have to wait two weeks to get it back up, that's, that's not feasible. And anyway, can't do anything about it. Just laugh, smile and move on. Let's get the, um, let's get the rest of the RV bed stuff finished today. I think I said half inch last night. No, I got three quarter inch. So a little, little thicker, actually the same exact bed material that was in the RV. I couldn't reuse the old hinges like I wanted to. I will be able to reuse the struts, but I'll show you the plan for my hinges. Yeah, the old hinges were just uh, completely bent up and, and just totally tore up. So I, I did get these and uh, they had them in pieces of 30 inch and 15. So if we put them back here, I'll kind of show you what they're gonna look like. Gonna have the two 30 inch rails on the ends and then the 15, no, it's a 12 inch there in the middle. And what I'm gonna do is get that three quarter inch board and I'm gonna cut it half of this so that there's a piece here to connect to, which it'll look something like that. And then the new piece will start here. That way they're both on the same level. So this will actually be sitting up here like this, this side attached to a stationary piece along the back. And then the main piece will be the bed right here that will hinge up like this. So I'm gonna go get my measurements and then cut the three quarter inch plywood. All right. Things don't always work. These seem like a really good idea. Unfortunately, they are way too flimsy and cheap and they are not gonna support this big honking piece of three quarter inch plywood. So my backup plan is a three pack of these heavy duty gate hinges. These were in the gate, outdoor gate section of Lowe's. I got three of them. So as you can see over here, I've got a slight gap running down the center. And that is because no matter where you put these, there's, there's going to be a little bit. So if it goes like that, that helps with the little bit that intrudes in there. And I think definitely three of these are a lot better than that cheesy, flimsy aluminum stuff. So get these installed here. All right, got the other hinges put on there, left the right gap. There's one thing I, I kind of overlooked and I had to change the one hinge. I caught it in time though, and that is that I have to leave more of a gap over here because of this window sill right here. It can't be flush. So I did move it down about just under a half inch, which you might notice, yeah, it runs off a little bit right here. You can tell right there. And I may just get my circular saw and just cut off that half inch right there so it's even with the post. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I'm gonna do, but let's see how she works one-handed without struts. Yes. Awesome, guys. We have a twin size bed frame here and I'm really happy with it. I still may put some cabinets here, guys. I mean, it really wouldn't be that hard with that quarter inch that I got to just put little hinges right there and then put some kind of an adhesive on this beam right here so that this opens this way and then I have access here as well as pulling this up so don't don't quote me on it I may not use the struts after all <sighs> shifting gears slightly here still still working on the project at hand but I'm changing the way I'm gonna put it together I just actually got some bad news from back home in Washington State and no matter what, this never gets easier on the road because you're, you're physically so far away. But my brother Barry has been in a car accident and he has sustained some pretty major injuries. And 
it's really hard for family there because Washington State is one of the very few states that is still not allowing any family of any kind to physically be in the hospital. So my dad's at the hospital and he can't even see his son who might not make it through the night because of COVID restrictions at the hospital. Barry's got a punctured lung, he's got broken ribs, and he has two severed arteries on both sides of his neck. And he's undergoing surgery here. This is delayed, obviously, but my dad can't even see his son in the hospital. There's nothing I can do from here. They wouldn't do me any good to hop on a plane right now. However, I sure would like to be with my family right now. I have lost a lot of family members. <laughs> And I lost a brother last year, and I'm telling you, man, it never gets easier being a nomad and, and being the only one of the family away. So, I, not that I could do anything if I were there. I would literally be, just be sitting, standing outside the hospital because we're not even allowed to see Barry. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll have an update on Barry's condition here at the end of the video. I've been putting stuff together. Let me show you what it looks like inside. So, I am wrapping this project up and I'm going to get back to building the inside and putting the hinges on the front here later. I've got the two front panels on, I've got the side panel on, and i got to connect the wiring, the electrical stuff, but, and i got to put the struts on, but there we go. It's finished. Let's grab the bed and open up the bed. I do like having this nice expanded hallway for clearance. <laughs> this was, um... $129 on Amazon. The Lowell mattress of the same caliber, like the one I have in the house that I've had in the RV, is $500. Usually it's $699, but it's on sale for $500. So $500, $129, that's why I went with the cheaper one. And we shall see. There's magic. Hard to believe that's a bed. Oh, it's a knife. They gave you a free knife. It's a safety knife so you don't cut the mattress, but can't even... Okay, so what do we do here? Oh, let me move this one. like completely shrink wrapped. Alright, let's just start from this edge right here. It's already making weird noises though. Really? needs three days to expand. <laughs> I don't know what it's like if you use it the first night, but I'll get back to you. Okay, I do have a little bit of cardboard to burn, so I'll do that and I'll cut back in here and uh, tomorrow when I maybe hear more about my brother and show you the bit. We got a lot of wind last night. Pretty much the, the first big storm. It's still really windy. Pretty much knocked out all the rest of the leaves, so. Feeling good about that. Good morning, guys. Uh, the family got an update late last night that Barry got out of surgery. He is conscious. Um, he, his ribs did puncture a lung, and there's not, apparently, there's not serious damage with his, his arteries in his neck. So Barry looks to be like he's going to be recovering this week, and I'm really happy about that. Really, really glad. Our family has uh, been through a lot this year and, and last year. So, um, Anyways, yeah, that's good. Okay, so I can I can relax and not feel helpless here in Illinois. Let's check out the bed. All right, so yeah, look at that. Mattress just fluffed itself right up to its 11 inch thickness there. You can also see my plan to keep the bed right underneath the emergency exit latch there so I still have access to be able to get some wind flow in here. Oh, that breeze feels good actually. I am really happy with how this came up except I am worried that eventually, even with the weight of the pillow and the comforter, that if I slam on the brakes, 
this will slide around. You know, and this wouldn't happen with the queen because it was already up against everything. It can't go anywhere. Now with my old bed right here, it certainly never slid off. So I don't even know why I'm thinking that's going to be an issue. But I think before I hit the road and head out of Illinois, I am going to put a block 2x4 that's out here that kind of goes to there to hold it there. And same thing over here on the other side just to keep it from, keep it from going crazy. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, and don't worry about the wire. The wire needs to be there because the outlet's there and stuff's up here that's plugged in. That'll be covered up so Jax won't chew it later. Um, and I still got stuff to do. I still got to put the struts on and stuff, but I want to show you how easy it is. Like, like I said, you do got to kind of pull the bed out to be able to do this. And then I can grab here, here, lift the bed up, get it to where I'm going to get it to. I'll use my little, I'll use my little dowel here put that guy in there then I have access to everything in here lots more shelving and stuff to build in here and the other thing is because I said I didn't overlook anything well getting up here it's not impossible it's just and that that's a long way down in the morning too well a lot longer of a climb than before so also, before I go, I'm going to build a little custom step there because Jax is going to need it too. This is too far for Jax to get up. So I'm going to build at least one step here in the corner where I can step here and then easily get on the bed and Jax can jump up. Maybe even two steps. I don't know. I thought about putting it here, but I have plans for storage in this corner. So it came out good. RV is pretty much back to normal minus leveling generator and I have some updates on the generator. <laughs> I'm I'm happy moving forward, so don't worry about that. But I'm going to go ahead and close this video up, guys. I've still got tons and tons of work to do here on the RV, but I'm doing it at my pace and doing it the way I feel comfortable. So you guys be well. From Jackson and I, we love you. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.